I'm here with Paul and Bridget, the proud new owners of this Prestige 520 flybridge. And this is their second boat. And uh, today, we're very lucky because they're going to do a tour for us, showing us what they love about their boat. This is the, the cockpit area that we particularly enjoy about the boat. It's uh, multifunctional. The seat uh, comes up at the, in the middle at the back to provide a backrest and a lovely table here that opens out for, for dining and a sun, uh, sun shade so when the sun's coming in from the stern we can provide a bit of shade to ourselves and our guests. I like it because it's got the outdoor flow and it's close to the galley. And we've got the freezer and fridge and uh, induction hobs and a convection oven. So and uh, what brand's that oven? Miele, is it? And, and we have an extractor fan, um, obviously, that can be used when we're cooking, and more storage. The one thing you love about the, the, the French boats in particular, they have a, a, a small um, area here that can be like an ice bath for, for champagne, which is uh, very European. But, but we love that, you don't see that in a lot of boats. And uh, multifunctional bench too, isn't there, Bridget? And yes. uh, we can take the tops, put the tops back on the sink and use that as bench space. So that's, that's really good. And then we have more storage more here. Sto storage here and cutlery and a serving area. And uh, a lot of people don't realise, but under this floor, there's a, uh, a locker big enough to put an inflatable dinghy, a rescue dinghy in that is a requirement in, in Europe. Uh, but we use it for storage, so it's uh, another area. This is our second prestige boat. We uh, really love the brand and the European style. And there's a number of options when you buy these boats. Um, so we chose uh, the, the Wenge wood option, which is the, the lovely brown. And you can have marine, vinyl, leather, or but the fabric we enjoy most is, or like most, is the Brittany Cloud. And it just contrasts and sets off the Wenge brown really nicely because they're a nice, classy feel. Yes, so we uh, have got some more storage. We've got a little drawer here that's nicely hidden. One of the other nice features about the saloon is the, the high-low table that uh, you see here that uh, we can adjust to different heights. It can be a coffee table when uh, we're having morning tea and it can be a, it opens out into a full-length table for, uh, for, for example for lunch or dinner and we can sit six people comfortably around, around the table. Uh, it's a lovely feature uh, and it's an option. We didn't have it in the last boat, but it's a, a must for this one. The table lowers and actually it can, can become a, an additional berth, although there's plenty on the boat already, but you never know. One of the other nice features of the boat is the opportunity to have an entertainment package, which you can have up to three TVs and obviously a stereo system. Uh, this is the television we probably use most uh, in the saloon, which is a, a smart TV, which we have uh, we use in conjunction with the wireless uh, internet, and we're in the process of putting Starlink on as well. This is a new feature for us in this boat, a door that slides open and easy access for Paul to go out to the anchor, and then I can be here on the controls if we need to up anchor and manoeuvre, so it's easy communication and uh, with this window over on the other side if we've got that open we've got lovely airflow. Uh, the other cool thing about the boat is it's got air conditioning throughout we've got five uh, air conditioning units and uh, in the winter the uh, reverse cycle they can be heating, heating as well. Here we are at the helm in August every year Prestige does a model update but like a car manufacturer so this the, for this model year a whole new helm design uh, dark colours uh, which minimises glare, they've moved the steering wheel over to the right and there's room for, for two people to sit, sit here comfortably and beautiful fabric on, on the seat and there is an option to have a, a moving seat which uh, the, the uh, backrest goes backwards and forwards and lowers so you have another uh, seat facing uh, to the stern end of the boat. We've got uh, controls here, bow thruster, joystick control which makes manoeuvring very easy with the pod drives the boat has and then the main throttles uh, which um, activate uh, and manage the engines which are IPS 650 pod drives. The IPS system is very easy to use and really comfortable with the joystick. The ease of, of manoeuvring is, is um, you have to experience to, be, to understand how easy they are to manoeuvre. In nine years and about 1,400 hours of, of boating, 
we never once damaged the boat while we were manoeuvring to a marina. And the great thing about the IPS system is we have a, our procedure is when we're picking up anchor, I, I'm on the bow, I like the, the anchor to come up straight. Bridget drives the boat and uh, right through to when we leave whatever bay we're in and she's very comfortable driving it and uh, manoeuvres it really well. The IPS system is, has, has revolutionised boating basically. Uh, the, the pod, it's a pod system that uh, is linked to the joystick and the propellers face forward so you get incredible efficiency so the first thing that the propellers see is water there's no rudder in the road there's no uh, disturbance of the water and the exhaust system exhausts out the back of the pod which effectively provides additional propulsion and the hulls are designed, spe designed specifically for IPS so uh, all in all a really efficient package. Well, one of the key features that certainly made me really love this boat is the master cabin and the easy access we have to it and it's quite separate to uh, friends or family down uh, the bow end of the boat and we can feel separate but yet still be part of a, a group and it's great access for Paul uh, to come up if he needs attention up at the top of the boat he can come up easily. Let's go explore. Here we are in the main master cabin. Easy to make the bed. <laughs> you don't have to break your back like you do on some other boats and crawl over so it's lovely to have a free walking area to make the bed. And there's a standard in some of the boats now, particularly the larger ones. You've got the full-width master cabin, which is fantastic. Walk-in wardrobe, which has the option to have a safe in there if you if you like to uh, store your things securely. And uh, the wall here can take a television. And uh, yeah, we think it's a lovely spot. Uh, one of the features that I particularly enjoy, because I work remotely on the boat, which is uh, great these days, uh, with the chaise long uh, couch here and um, there's additional storage underneath there's no shortage of space here we have the uh, the ensuite for the for the master cabin all separate yeah, lovely lovely corian uh, f floors and uh, shower floor um, plenty of storage in the in the uh, in the ensuite and uh, a little um, toilet tucked around the corner well here we are in the uh, vip guest cabin and we have plenty of storage on the cupboard that side and one in here and there's a vanity unit in here and storage under the bed and the bed can also be split into two singles um, if people prefer and then there's storage again at the top of the bed and another option that we've taken this time round is having another TV. So here we are in the, in the day, day bathroom, uh, multi, multifunctional, uh, it can work as a day head or it can work as a uh, ensuite to the uh, VIP um, guest cabin and also to the uh, third cabin uh, which we'll look at shortly on the other side of the hallway. And another feature for this model year is uh, they've made this shower much easier to, uh, to, to operate with this uh, additional glass wall which makes it a wet shower which gives you a lot more room and it's easier to open and close the doors. And here we have another cabin and it's set up in two singles at the moment but one of them can be moved forward and it can make a double so it caters for every configuration you'd like. And there's a down step and storage between the two single beds and also storage underneath each of the beds. And another little feature that we really enjoy on the boat is we have a secret under here for when we're away is a uh, European uh, washer and dryer. Oh, dry. When we're away for six to eight weeks, it always helps to have a bit of washing facility around. <laughs> and, and it minimises the, 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 num the amount of clothing we, and towels we need to bring, which is a real fit plus for us. Yes. <laughs> it's nice to be uh, up on the, on the flybridge, um, a feature that we haven't had in previous boats, and uh, wish we had uh, got one earlier. It's absolutely magnificent. Uh, we've got a table here where we can seat uh, many people and the other nice little feature here is if you want to be facing forward when you're underway we just pop the seat uh, cushion back. At meal time we have the wet bar but we also have food with it as well so we naturally have a fridge to uh, down here for the for the food and the odd drink or two and a bit of storage. Plenty of versatility. As our children uh, have named these pads fondly, they call them the bronzing pads, better known as a relaxation pad. Uh, and again, they are 
uh, adjustable so that you can be have your back elevated to read a book or enjoy the journey along the way. And last but not least, let's move on to the helm, which is a carbon copy of what you have in the uh, saloon. Not all that common on boats, you don't usually get full featured uh, helm stations, but you've got everything here, your twin Garmin's, your joystick controls, your throttles, and uh, what's more a fabulous view, which is made even better by the, um, the shade that we enjoy from a very large bimini that uh, sits over the top of the, of the flybridge and makes that uh, indoor-outdoor feeling just fantastic. And uh, we think of it like a, like, a, um, like a deck at home with an umbrella. We, we're just really looking forward to being able to spend time up here. Just to point out the uh, LED lighting we have in the Bimini, so that gives a lovely feature at night and uh, matches our underwater lighting from the, from the stem. Okay, here we are at another uh, relaxation area on the boat. We've got our, you know, the uh, cockpit area, we've got the flybridge, and here's a separate area you can have to yourself as well. Bring a book up, lay in the sun. It's just a fabulous area to get away from it all and, uh, and relax. Okay, an area of the boat that's uh, quite important for when we're away is the anchoring system. So we went with the uh, upgraded uh, stainless steel anchor and uh, winch system, which uh, can be operated from the helm in the saloon or up on the flybridge. So that's great. And I mean, in closing, I guess this is our second uh, Prestige 500. We had a sedan to start off with and our first flybridge and we think that if you, if you consider the flybridge as a um, like a deck at home with an umbrella it makes it a, a, a lovely area but overall this is all about lifestyle um, and uh, we love the Prestige brand and uh, more importantly they always stand behind their product and support their customers both at agency level and uh, at the manufacturing level so all that leaves me to do is just relax.